we're going to be talking about maps today and we're going to make an imaginary map that shows what kind of world we would want to live in but even though it's an imaginary map that we're doing it's still going to have all the same parts as a regular map the art of making a map is called cartography and um, your map will have a title a key or legend compass rows and it will have scale and so we're going to talk about putting all those parts into your map to make it really cool and fun. My island away that I created is called Bunnyville. I've got roller skating, um, bunny parks, library, my house. Okay, so on my, this is my practice one. So this is my key, a little small symbol or picture of what it represents. Um, on here, I had the book for the library. I might change that. My compass rose is what shows the direction. There's a lot of different ways to do this. You wanna have at least pointing north. You don't always have to do east, south, and west, but you can. Um, I've gotta have a little sea monster, of course. And what's missing, I do have my title. Um, what's missing from my practice one that I need to put in the real deal is my border. So I have my border. I've got my key. I need to put my compass rose over here. And the other thing that is missing is my scale for the map. The scale of the map is what determines how big, how big is my island? Is it five miles across? Is it 50 miles across? So when you're doing, let's see, I'm gonna put my compass rose here. So I will put my scale down here and I'm just gonna make a little line. two, four, six, and eight miles. <laughs> so that's how, when I'm looking at this, I know this is two miles away. So if I were to put my library up here, my open book is now the symbol for my library. And my library is about eight miles from my bunny park. So once you get everything mapped in, you are going to take a Sharpie and outline edges, but not coloring in, because we're gonna use watercolor for that. So outline edge all of your pencil marks. Once, you ha once you're happy with that, you can erase the pencil lines and then we will start our watercolor. So when you're putting your Sharpie down, it's okay if you decide that you want something to be a little different. Um, some of the things I drew, like this little bunny, he was too tiny. It's easy to draw really small with your pencil, but with your Sharpie, it's gonna be a little bit bigger since a Sharpie is fatter. So you may have to draw something a little bit bigger than you originally sketched it. Um, be careful when you are doing your first sketch that things are big enough to that they're not too teeny tiny and you can have things in your map that aren't in your key but you want most of your major landmarks to be in your key um same with the writing my writing was too tiny so when i went over my writing i had to make it a little bit bigger in my key and once you're done putting everything in you want to take your eraser and do a really good job of erasing everything because once you start painting over it, um, that paint will hold the pencil mark down. 